Hi, my name's Florence and in this video I'll be giving you my thoughts on three different snowboards from an intermediate rider's perspective. I decided to do this video because I found it really hard to find review videos for women's snowboards. I don't mean board shops doing videos on the specs, because there's plenty of those, but I wanted to see videos of people snowboarding on these boards. And not just pros and sponsored riders, but people at the same level as me, who might have similar weaknesses and challenges. So to give you a bit of background on myself, this is my fifth year snowboarding, and each year I've spent between one to five days on the slopes. This year I'd say that I'm finally an intermediate rider, comfortable linking turns rapidly, able to do flat and narrow runs and starting to carve. I just want to make this disclaimer, that my opinions are entirely my own and you might find that your experience on the board is different. You might have a different riding style, preferences and goals that you want to achieve and that's great. So let's get to it. The Burton Social. This board was set up with Burton stiletto bindings and I rented it for five days last year. It has a rocker profile and a soft flex rating. This board was very forgiving and helped me get comfortable with linking turns. However, I didn't really like the slidey feel of it and the soft flex made me hesitant and unconfident at building speed. When I did a snowboard lesson and the instructor took me down a black run, the board was really chattery and I found it hard to engage the edges. However, some people really love rocker boards, so it comes down to personal preference. I think maybe because I have a longboarding background, I'm used to the feeling of traction and the grippiness of the road holding my line. However, it gave me confidence learning how to do flatland spin 360s. Next up is the Burton Talent Scout, which was set up with Burton Lexa bindings. I rented it for three days this season. The Talent Scout has a pure pop camber and a medium flex rating. I found this board to be so lively and fun. It would bounce me from turn to turn and get me into a rhythm. I didn't have a problem with catching edges, which is something I was apprehensive about going from a rocker to a camber board. Also, the camber and the stiffness didn't make it hard for me to initiate turns, which is something I had read about for intermediate to advanced boards. I feel that it finally helped my progression from beginner into intermediate. It was so much more responsive and was a good board to learn carving on. The K2 First Light. I just had this for one day when we spontaneously decided to spend our penultimate day in New Zealand on the slopes before flying home. The first light has a flat profile with rocker on the ends, which makes for a predictable and forgiving ride. I didn't realise how light the talent scout was until I picked up the first light, which was noticeably heavier. I didn't catch any edges on it, but could still actively engage the edges. It felt closer to the talent scout than the social. However, it was missing the bounce and liveliness of the talent scout. So to wrap it up, my favourite board out of the three was the Burton Talent Scout. It was the most fun to ride on and gave me a sense of potential and progression. However, I think that the Burton Social is a great board for gaining confidence with linking turns, and the K2 First Light is great if you're after a stable, dependable board. Thanks for watching, and if you have ridden any of these boards, I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.